One word that you might hear or see repeatedly throughout the workflow building process is actions. Now, actions refer to the steps within your workflow. So scraping LinkedIn is an action, extracting role and flow is an action, and for likely pains is an action. And the reason that this is important is we have a lot of pre-built actions for you. So as you're going through a workflow, you can click add here and you'll have a list of actions that pop up and you can add an action whether you want images, research, text, different integrations, orchestrations, or tables. We have all of these different actions that you can use. So for instance, uh, infer likely pain points, we could write a long form uh, blog post about those pain points um, based on what that person is struggling with. Or if we wanted to, we could search up here, let's find an email, write a cold email. Let's say we wanted that to be the next step. And now we would just modify that action by clicking on it and adding the relevant details based on what we want in there. So we are going to go through how you can edit these steps in the next video. But for now, what's important to know is how you can identify the actions that you have in a workflow and then go to add more from our pre-built library. Or you can simply add an action by typing in the action that you'd like to be added. So you could say after extracting the role information and inferring the pain points, draft an email to this person. We can go ahead and get rid of this, get rid of this step. And if we were to just type this in a moment, that step will be added to the workflow. And now you can see that a new action was added to this workflow. And when we click on this, we are able to modify that action. Now in the next video, I will be showing you how to modify each action in both the prompt, the background, and the advanced settings.